So Linus Torvalds, the guy who came up with the Linux kernel, and essentially Linux is kind of named from his name, Linus, interesting that he apologized. And let's roll back a little bit why that's even interesting at all, or why I'm even here discussing it. So one of the challenges I've always found in tech is inclusivity. There's a lot of people that work in tech that are frequently, I'm not going to say purposely abrasive, but I think they have a lack of concept uh, through lack of social graces, and they don't understand sometimes how abrasive they're being or how their behavior may be perceived as wrong. So we've always made the jokes. There's lots of socially awkward people in tech and things like that. And although a lot of people say I seem more extroverted, I'm actually not myself. This has been through discipline and trying to understand people better. I've taken a lot of time to do this. It's how I run my business because, well, I was kind of obnoxious myself when I was younger, and it's not something I'm proud of or uh, have any feelings that I should have ever been that way or that it helped me get somewhere. I've realized inclusivity is very important. Now, Linus has been the kernel maintainer for, well, since the inception. So it's 25, over 25 years of this. And he has been an excellent steward of that. He is very disciplined. His code reviews are very solid. He's very strict about what goes into Linux kernel. And it's part of why Linux has become this absolutely huge thing that it is. Oh, a lot of credit to him. But I don't know how much better because we can't replay history. It would have been if he was more inclusive. And I say this because Linus, he doesn't just tell you you're wrong. And he admits it in here, and there's an article wired here, but we're going to talk about it over here in his actual post that sparked all this, where he has gone, and this is the Linux uh, kernel mailing list, where he has a lot of his discussions. And it's not like you can have to look for a video of Linus ranting about something. He goes off on people right down to personal attacks in some of his ranting he does. And the problem is we already have a shortage of people in tech. And people who are less aggressive or just don't like that kind of behavior uh, are less apt to join tech groups because they're hearing people scream RTFM and, you know, why don't you know this or you're an idiot? And that's not exactly inclusive. And it's funny because I've met people over the years from going to conferences and people I know online through forums that were very scared to come because they had seen this type of behavior and it made them less interested in joining the tech communities as a group. And this is kind of troubling. So I'm happy to see that Linus is seeking help for this uh, because many of us know him as this guy and there's that childish sense of humor of, hey, that's funny, he flipped off NVIDIA. But he also goes on rants and really attacks people personally. So I like that he said, I'm going to take some time off from assistance on how to understand people's emotions and respond appropriately. This is something that's pretty big deal in the community um, because he's – such a person in the community, a lot of people look up to him and say, hey, uh, Linus does it, so should I behave that way too? So I'm hoping this is kind of a ripple effect and we see more inclusivity because, uh, you know, I hate the horror stories I've heard for people that tried to get something submitted and because of abrasiveness they had in there, it took longer to get a project done. It really doesn't help anyone. And I don't think you need to be ranty and uh, cussing at people just in order to get a project done. So I find this very interesting. That's why I find it very worthy of discussion. I'll leave a link so you can read his actual post on here. I know some people are saying too little, too late and things like that, but I, he's still there. He's still Linus and he's still going to be the kernel maintainer or well, the head of the kernel maintenance for a long time. Uh, and maybe he's thinking about his legacy, but I'm really hoping this is a lead by example. So for those that use the example, um, Maybe now can they can see him, okay, I guess you can be a nicer person, more inclusive. doesn't mean he uh, should let code in that's bad, but it does mean that he should be focusing on not being abrasive and say, hey, you submitted something wrong as opposed to going on personal attacks. But I'll leave a link to the two articles here. Uh, but, you know, being someone who's who's seen the effects and met people who had a harder time getting into and becoming a developer because of the abrasive behavior some of these people have um, – I'm hoping to see more of this because we really need more people in tech. There is a fast-growing 
uh, market. There's not enough security professionals. There's not enough developers. There's always room for more of them. And if we can't be putting barriers up uh, to saying, man, I, I'd, I'd go there, but I'm afraid if I type something wrong, I'm going to get a entire rant yelled at me and kind of discouraged about it. So I do like more inclusivity and bringing more people in will only help the, especially with the open source community, the greater good for it, in my opinion. So thanks. That's just my opinion on this uh, Linus thing. I, I'm really, you know, I don't know him personally, um, but I'm fascinated by this and I'm really hoping this kind of represents some, some more change as we're seeing in our communities. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.